If you stand in the right place at the right time, it's not hard to imagine white settlement in pre-Civil War days. The story goes some hardy pioneers left the shelter of nearby Fort Worth and settled in the midst of six Indian villages, a white settlement. This restored building served as the stagecoach repair house and post office. It wasn't until 1948 that white settlement became a city. There was talk then of changing the name, but no one liked anything better. But the town's name can present problems. Well, an example in Washington, when we were applying for federal funds recently, uh, some of the people in the Department of Housing and Urban Development felt that there might be some racial connotations to white settlement. Other places, people uh, seem to think that maybe we're a frontier outpost. As for the racial connotations, in 1960, just four non-whites lived in white settlement. Now there are some 600. As for the frontier outpost, things might get a little crowded in the fort with 14,000 residents. Despite that, the city's beautification committee decided to ask about changing the name in a questionnaire concerning the city's image. The results are in, but we found the reaction mixed. What do you think of the idea of changing the name of the town? Well, it's been my settlement so long that I wouldn't know what else to call it. I like it. I mean, I think it should be. Yeah, it's about time they change anyway. They need to change the town up a little bit. Well, I don't, it's always been white settlement. That's all I've known it to be but it does sound like it's sort of off ball by itself. But some people are asking whether changing the name of white settlement for the sake of progress or sensitivity to civil rights may be carrying things a bit too far. After all, if white settlement goes, can the White House be far behind? Dave Cassidy, Channel 8 News in White Settlement.